All right, guys, what's up today? We're going to take a look at this trimmer right here. This is the 22 Stinger by Caliber. And I'm actually very impressed with this trimmer. It's, it's, it is one of a kind out of all other cordless, let's be specific here, every other cordless trimmer out there, this one is really different, okay? So right now, I've just been giving you guys a quick 360, you know, view of the trimmer. You know, it, it's pretty slim. I like, I like the build and the blades up top. They are, uh, you know, pretty exposed. So that's good. That's really good. So I already opened up this box. I actually managed to break the box a little bit. We're going to take a look at the back right here. And this is what's, you know, very unique about this trip trimmer. This cordless trimmer has a magnetic motor. And we're going to be taking a look at that later on in this video. I'm going to take this thing apart because this thing also comes with different color plates. And then back here, we got a lot of information on the clipper itself. If you want to be specific and read everything yourself, you can pause the video and take a look at it yourself. Uh, but there's all the information and uh, it's it's a I've been using this for about a month now and this thing is a is a hitter it definitely hits it balds so smooth uh, some would say it's comparable to like an Andes outliner uh, the corded Andes outliner which had a magnetic motor also so as we open up the box right here we can see it comes with a charging stand which I do like the the hexagon shape of it it seems very sturdy. That thing doesn't really wiggle in there uh, too much at all. It feels very, very securely placed inside the stand. I haven't been using it though. I've instead just been using the, the cable cord, um, which by the way, they provide us with the longest cord. And I'll show you how long it is uh, later on in this video. But yes, this cord right here is super long. And then you also get this uh, USB cable so you could charge it back here which I have not used once um, yeah I have not used that the, the USB charging cable once all right so talking about the charging cables the charging cable that I do use we're gonna put this you know the the plug-in end inside the Husky workbench and I'm just gonna pull it just to show you how far away I can get from the station I'm like double the length I need to be away from my barber chair. It's it's very good that we get a lightweight and long cable for this trimmer. You know, it's it's very handy. I do appreciate getting something that long and they could have gone about half that length, honestly. <laughs> but to get extra length is very good. So right here, we are actually going to take the trimmer apart. I'm going to show you guys the insides and we're going to change the color, you know, uh, uh, the the lid from the, the silver kind of color we got going on. We're going to go for the matte black next. And as you can see, they also have gold. But yeah, removing this is super easy. Um, you're just going to undo the four screws and you're going to kind of like pull it, take it apart. It's real easy. All right, so <laughs> it might look like I'm struggling to open this trimmer, but honestly, it was really easy to open. Um, it was just my first time taking this trimmer apart. So <laughs> yeah, it might look like I was struggling, but honestly, I was just trying to figure it out. And those side plates, they come out real easy. And this is what it looks like inside. Um, it's a very compact built magnetic motor 
um you know this is very clean design right here i, I, I like it a lot uh no other trimmer out there has a magnetic motor no other cordless trimmer should i say uh every other cordless trimmer out there has a rotary motor and you know th this is just like with the 50 cal the 50 cal clipper from caliber um this clipper right here also is the only clipper to have a magnetic motor and they're pretty much identical inside um the 22 Stinger basically just has a miniaturized 50 cal motor inside of it. And it's very, you know, a nice design. So all we're going to do now is we're going to put this back on uh, and then we're going to do some sound tests. And I'm going to show you, you know, how it actually functions on, you know, during haircuts. I do someone's beard a little bit with it. You know, I, I do some designs with this, too. I, I love this trimmer a lot. Um, I don't know if you could tell <laughs> this trimmer for the last month that i've been using it i just feel like oh my god this is you know a very very nice machine it just feels like a hitter you know and it's it's different and the blade design up top is very nice too but yeah to put this thing back on you just gotta line it up right and you're gonna put the four screws on there super easy um and i do like that about this uh trimmer you know Instead of just being, oh, we're just going to give you this one clipper and it only comes in one color. You know, it, it it's nice that they give us a few different colors, you know, uh, they're they're like a statement <laughs> at your desk. So this trimmer is definitely something that's very underrated. I'm actually surprised as to how many people don't know about caliber. And here I am doing reviews for caliber clippers and uh, I, I do like them a lot. Um because they're innovative you know uh <laughs> for real we're, we're looking at the only magnetic motor clipper on the mo uh, market a trimmer i should say but yeah very very good machine it hits good um it reminds me a lot of the old school uh andy's outliner that had a magnetic motor and that trimmer was my go-to way back then that's the thing about barbers from 10 years ago that's when i started cutting hair i started cutting hair 10 years ago and nothing was cordless man nothing was cordless <laughs> now everything is cordless so it's good to see a magnetic motor come back and uh you know it this trimmer is going to be hard to describe how it feels in your hand when you turn on that power button uh, until you hold it yourself because it, it does feel different. So, yeah, putting these screws back on, easy peasy. All right, let's talk about power. And this thing just hits, man. I mean, it just balds. And it does it smoothly. Um, I am super impressed with this trimmer. It's easily my favorite trimmer right now. I It's the only trimmer I use. If it's low on battery, I use it with it, you know, plugged in to the charger. And uh, yeah, it, it just hits differently. And I really do like it. It's a solid hitter. It balds real good. I did this uh, PlayStation design right here. I messed it up a little bit, but hey, you know, I'm not the best barber ever. But uh, I do feel like this trimmer hits really good, man. And right here, I'm gonna do a, a bald fade. You're only gonna see the, the trimmer part <laughs> of this uh, haircut. But yeah, you can see how good it balds, man. And, and it comes zero gapped really good um i'm just absolutely impressed with this trimmer it's my favorite trimmer right now at the moment and it comes with 120 minutes of runtime so you get two hours and i took his mask off but whatever man <laughs> and uh yeah man i mean this thing just hits i am absolutely impressed and i think you will be too We are going to do the sound comparison. We're going to do the 22 and then the 38. 
We have two Andes trimmers. Uh, this is the cordless Andes outliner. Remember, this one has a rotary spinning motor. So it's different from this motor. This one has a magnetic motor. And, and then this one right here, this is the old school uh, corded Andes outliner. I absolutely love the corded clipper. I can't say the same. I don't have the same love for the cordless version, but this trimmer right here will definitely last you. It could last you a lifetime with the cord. It, it's honestly very reliable. If you don't have one of these, they are just nice to have. They're, they're smooth and reliable. Very OG machine right here. And this one has a magnetic motor also, but it's a, it's older technology. It, it doesn't have a magnetic motor as nicely built as this one. This one has a, this one has new technology with its magnetic motor. Um, this one is just much more compact, faster magnetic motor, um, you know, <laughs> all that stuff. And then right here for a final comparison, we have, uh, this is a cordless senior. And uh, this machine right here, a lot of people have this machine in their shop. This one is just modded as a clear case and an upgraded battery. Uh, you get that at 245, it's real good. Let's do the sound test real quick, okay? So first up, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, uh, the, the Andes cordless outliner and the 22 Stinger. So let's turn on the 22. Now let's do the Andes. Honestly, they make different types of sounds, but they're almost the same, you know, in loudness. I think, I think the 38 is quieter. The 38 is definitely quieter. Uh, this one is probably gonna be the quietest of them all. It's pretty quiet. All right, let's do the uh, the senior. The senior, it doesn't have full power right now. It's running a little weak on its battery. By the way, if you think the blades are wiggling weird on any of these machines, it's just the uh, the frame rate of the camera recording that's making it look a little weird. But yeah, overall, it's not a super loud machine. If you're watching this video with headphones on, you're probably like, wow, that's really, really loud. But in person, it's really not that loud of a machine. Um, and, it, and its performance is very, very good. It balds through everything. It's got a good battery life at two hours, which beats this one just by a little one, a little bit. Um, but it's not as good as this one. This one has four hours of battery life. So yeah, man, that's what I think about this machine. It's a very, very good trimmer. I got some oil all over it. Um, let me know if you guys watched the whole video. Hit the like button. Uh, you know, subscribe, whatever, all that stuff. Peace. All right, do you play Among Us? <laughs> Are you a barber? Then you need to be following me on Instagram. All right, I got some pretty cool stuff on there. You'll be scrolling for a while, just looking at all the cool shit I've done. Um, yeah, I did that right there. I put Batman on someone's chest, and I even gave that guy a six-pack. All right, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, man. I got some good stuff on there. Um, that's pretty much it for this channel or for this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, all that stuff. la di da di da I'm out. Oh, and uh, follow me on Facebook, too. Fuck it. It's all down there in the description of this video. Uh, peace.